All right, hello, 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 Cheers coming here, and welcome back to Builder's Paradise. Ah, so relaxed. Um, <laughs> welcome back. I made myself a little AFK hut here, and we have been slowly expanding our EMC collectors. Now, you may notice this isn't the EMC collector. What the heck is this? That's not what we built last time. Well, you're right. Um, you can actually craft... Oh, well, you can't craft it that way, apparently. Fair enough. Uh, let me. Uh, if we have... Let's put this in here. We'll grab an EMC collector. This is the energy collector that we got, the Mark I. You can plop it down, and it generates stuff, and it has this weird stuff in here that nobody ever uses. <laughs> um, but the point is it generates EMC, and it puts it uh, into this energy condenser, which is amazing. Well, in this mod pack, there is Project EX, which I'm guessing is just Project E Expanded, or, you know, whatever. Project Expectations, I don't know. And uh, you can craft this energy collector into this basic collector. And this is, says it's server TPS friendly. That's ticks per second friendly. It only generates the EMC once every second. So rather than when you plop this one down, it's going to generate a trickle of EMC that is four per second, but it 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 does it in, you know, it, it does updates every, every game tick. This one is only going to do something every 20 game ticks, and it will just produce four a second, which means that, uh, yeah, if we get a community server running, I'm definitely going to be encouraging people, please use this version. It is better. So you'll notice um, if we look here, well, I guess now there's there's so many of these that it's it's updating and bursty, but you're not getting this kind of linear. It's not going, you know, cycling through. It's, 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 it's batching these updates. So... And that's pretty neat. And yeah, I've just been slowly adding uh, these things as we've generated EMC. So now we're up to a fair bit of EMC here. We've been generating diamonds. Um, and let's see. We have, we've got one in there. Awesome. And we're at the point where I want to bring us back in because uh, I could continue to do this. Just expand these and basically just put a collector, uh, put a, uh, yeah, a collector above, below, behind the energy condenser. And in front of the energy condenser as well would be another thing we could do. But yeah, um, and this is kind of the, the very basic gist of what a power flower looks like. But uh, we want to enhance. We want to enhance this a little bit. Also, I realized um, I was looking through the dark matter collector. The phase, the phase two one, seems to produce more than just two of the. So if we look, this uh, let's see, this this is a little bit more than twice. Yeah, so that'd be three, two, uh, whatever. Um, we need to take this and add a add. Yeah, like like two more of these. This thing actually produces twelve. Uh, per second versus four. Well, so, you yeah, know, so I guess that, no, that actually does kind of balance out, right? Yeah, if you're looking at this and then, yeah. So three of these, is the, the Mark II is effectively three of this one, right? So anyway, point is we can expand that. The other thing we can do is we could get these things all, um, so right now we're, we're occupying all the sides of the energy condenser. Uh, yeah, the condenser. What we could do as well is use an antimatter relay. Now what the relay will do is you can put it on the face and then it and then you can have it will transfer EMC from one face to another face. So I don't know. Let's just build one. Um, let's take down uh, this power flower because we can use the EMC. I should have gotten the EMC out of there, but whatever, it's fine. Go ahead and grab this. Oh, I also tamed a bunch more <laughs> a bunch more wolves. Just kind of yeah, that was bored. Um, we'll go ahead and throw these in here. Yeah, now we've got half a million EMC. How awesome is that, actually? Look at that. We, we could even create... Ooh, we could create a basic energy EMC link. Well, I kind of want to do that instead. I mean, I'm just saying. High covalence dust, red matter. We haven't done... Haven't done... Well, let's create... Let's let's create... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, we'll see what we decide to do. So the antimatter relay. Uh, this is going to require some obsidian. It's going to require a block of diamond, and it's going to require some glass. So we have a block of diamond. We have some obsidian. Let's see. Obsidian... And glass. And, yeah, we can don't have to worry about taking out too much because we'll just put it all back. There we go. Antimatter relay. There we go. Now we have learned that. And this, there is um, the version from Project X as well. So we can go ahead and say basic relay like this. And it is server TPS friendly as well. It will transfer EMC only once per second. So what this will do is it will transfer EMC from, the, from its sides. And it will actually add a little bit of a bonus um, to the EMC that it's transferring. So instead of this setup... What we can do is take, say, the top face and put this down here and then put this on top of there, okay? And not only, and, and now we could also put additional stuff on this face and this face and this face and this face and basically get ourselves a big honking power flower. So let me see. Um, we would need, let's see, how many surfaces do we have on here? A uh, fair few. Um, if we leave the front open, that gives us, yeah, so we would want four of those. Well, four more. Right? There we go. Yeah, we're 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 pretty quickly gonna run out of EMC if we we try and set this up fully. But uh, you know, it's uh, 
We'll see. Let's let's grab a diamond pickaxe real quick. We'll put we can put all always put things back, right? Uh, okay, we've got a diamond in there. Well, whatever. Let's uh yeah, let's move this let's move this away. And we'll set this up super fancy like so. Let's set this up right, I don't know, up here. No, let's set it over here. Why not? Okay. We'll set it over here. So, the idea is we'll have this on the bottom, then a relay, and then the energy condenser. Okay? So then, another relay there, another relay there, another relay there, and a relay on the top of it. Uh, let's grab ourselves some dirt. And, da, 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 and get this thing... At least starting to look the way it will eventually look. So then there, and then there, just so that we don't have to reach that one later. And then this becomes kind of the massive power flower. Let's grab a diamond as well, just so that it knows it's supposed to be making them. Um, we'll grab some more basic collectors. We do not have anywhere near enough basic collectors to make this work the way it's supposed to, but that's okay. Um, this will at least give us the gist of the idea of what things will look like. So we'll have something there, something there. <laughs> We've only got two left. Uh, terrible. Um, and there. And yeah, so every one of these is now going to be, so the, you're going to be getting the four EMC per second plus an additional one because the relays are coming in. So this, all in all, should be a little bit faster. Now, if we had a bunch of EMC, this would be great, um, but we don't have enough EMC to really take advantage of this setup, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so we could just wait, and then slowly as we gain enough EMC, uh, build the thing up. But, eh. and if, you could you get the gist. If we were to put collectors on all of these all of these gray faces, then you end up with something that's called the power flower. And the power flower, I mean, it, it just it just became named that way because people started using it all the time and just decided it looks like a power flower. Um, yeah. Now, if you have been uh, paying attention, you'll notice that in JEI there is here the pow basic pow power flower bonsai pot. Now, this co this is way outside of our EMC range right now, but. If you look at it, do we get the control shift Z? Give me the control shift Z, please. Eh, give me the, come on. oh, there we go, okay. Power flower, there we go. You can see this is exactly what this thing looks like. If you were to use all those faces, that's what things would look like, except it also includes a basic energy EMC link in the middle, because right now what we've been doing is we have this condenser and then we're just telling it to make items. But we could do more than just tell it to make items. We could actually, have it include stuff into our EMC, have it add to our EMC stores directly with that creative EMC link. Now you'll notice at the top left of the screen, if my menu goes away, it actually counts the total of EMC that we have, and I believe that comes from Project EX as well. And we're going to pay attention to that, so let's get rid of this. We'll get, yeah, take all these down. This is just for demonstration purpose any <laughs> anyway, apparently. Grab all this stuff. I, I do find this 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 semi grindy stuff to be actually kind of fun. Um, I I I, I love me some Project E. I, I'm, yeah, I'm probably probably biased, but okay. Look at that. We have we have almost a million EMC. That's pretty fantastic. Um, and you know if we just if we just sat around for a little while, we'd uh, we'd get there. Let's spend half of that on a basic EMC energy EMC link. Now this is not the most efficient way to go about things because. The basic energy EMC link is basically wasted EMC. If we were going to be smart, we would use the setup like I had there, where basically you can just go ahead and just add another um, another energy collector every time you have just just barely enough EMC to, to add it. And you know, kind of the only wasted quote unquote EMC, non-producing EMC, is the collectors themselves, because you know you're having to spend stuff to actually convert them. This uh, energy thing is just a quality of life upgrade for us, because now we don't have to take the stuff out and throw it into the into the machine. But we're going to do it anyway, because I think it's fun. So we need to go through some of the uh, fuel that is part of Project E. And uh, the first one we're going to need, yeah, we need to get to Eternalist Fuel first. Um, apparently, collector fuel upgrades in Project E, no, no, I've never done this. Apparently, you can just uh, th use the energy collectors you can put in source materials, and it will convert, it will upgrade materials for you, which... Who knew? Apparently that's, that's a thing you can do. We're going to need the Philosopher's Stone, we're going to need some coal, and we're just going to have to go through a couple of steps here. So, we're going to transmute this to get ourselves alchemical coal. And alchemical coal is like coal, except it's way better. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab some alchemical coal, and we're going to upgrade it like a so, and you get Mobius Fuel. Right? There we go. Take some Mobius Fuel, put that in there. I love that this is a lossless process. Well, some of these recipes actually are not. If you, some of these, the, uh, the total, the, the EMC that you get from the output is not the same as what you, uh, what you put in, but that's okay. 
Um, and then Eternalist Fuel. I think from there we, I think we're done with these recipes, but I'm not positive. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, okay, that's the end of those. Fair enough. Um, let's look at, so red matter you can get from Eternalist Fuel and dark matter. So we need dark matter. Dark matter is going to be, oh, I can get it from dark matter block. That's helpful. Thank you. A block of diamond and some Eternalist Fuel. So let's grab a block of diamond. And this gets expensive. But we're creating, hey, heavy expensive stuff. And at least it's worth a fair bit. So we're putting in, I don't know, it's, it's roughly equivalent here. There we go. Dark matter. And dark matter, Eternalist Fuel. And we should now have enough to make red matter. So let's do that. Uh, there you go. One red matter, please. And this is, yeah, this is about half a million, which is, is pretty crazy. Okay, so red matter comes out. That leaves us with about half a million uh, to actually generate stuff from. What else are we going to need? We're going to need uh, some stone and then just high covalence dust, medium covalence. Yeah, okay, dusts. So dust, um, high covalence, medium, low, and stone. And now we should be able to create the basic energy EMC link. Awesome. Okay, so this is expensive, but we'll go ahead and learn it. There we go. Done. And now we don't have to use this. If we wanted to go back to efficient AFKing, well, I mean, micromanage AFKing, <laughs> um, then, you know, we could. We can go ahead and do that. But now, instead of having the condenser in the middle of our flower power, uh, power flower, yeah, that's what I meant to say, um, we can go ahead and take energy collectors in the middle of there. And now you'll see, yeah, we've pretty much set ourselves back to kind of square one here. But check this out. Look at the top left of our screen. We actually have improved EMC production. So that's awesome. It's actually, we can actually track at any point in time how much EMC is going into our system. And I think that's pretty darn sweet. So now we can see that we've got, yeah, and it's, 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 it's tracking it over time. So now it's up to 16 per second. And if we add the, the last one here, so there we are. Now we're at 20 per second. And we don't have to go, hey, is this, is this enough for a diamond? Do I have to, or, or take out particular items? And we don't, we don't need to ever put it into the transmutation table. This now just becomes our available EMC. So if we're looking down here, look, it's just automatically added. And we don't ever have to stress out about it ever again. This, is, this never needs to be collected. It can just be AFK'd. And yeah, we never need to ma manage anything to do with it again. The only thing we'll want to do is use some of that EMC to get more of these things. So like a basic relay, we, we could afford now. Um, I guess, I mean, I guess it would be a very tiny enhancement right now, but better it would just be to wait a couple seconds until we get to, well, a couple seconds. All right, there we go. I uh, just threw, threw some of the park stuff in there. And there we go. That is what this thing looks like. There we go. Now we have, uh, it went negative for, oh, it because it, the cause this thing actually tracks, it's not tracking production, it's tracking literally what happens to the number over time. So when you take something out, it goes, oh, you're losing a lot of EMC per second, um, which is fine. So this is the very simplified version. Um, if you look at the uh, the power flower, let's let's look, power flower, um, you'll notice it is larger, and that's because the, uh, the structure that it is replicating is the one with the antimatter relays in the middle there. So basic relays in the middle there. And etc. And then just to explain, expanding that out so that every every possible surface is covered. And if you do that, you get with you get a you get a version of this. Now, of course, you can instead of doing that, instead of having all of these blocks generating EMC, you can just upgrade to the actual basic power flower bonsai pot, and it will generate 102 uh, EMC per second. And then it's a single block, so it's only updating the game uh, once every second instead of this thing, which even though it's only we're using the optimized things, it's still updating. Well, it's doing six, seven? Yeah, seven updates a second, which is, you know, not the end of the world, but, you know, it's, as soon as you get a whole bunch of people on the server, then things get a little more laggy. So the idea is, and I'm sort of modeling good behavior here, <laughs> um, you do want to upgrade to these more consolidated production systems whenever you can. Now, you'll notice here, this is six basic relays and then basic collectors, but this is actually a compressed collector. So this... You need to make with six basic collectors, so this is a fairly expensive uh, prospect. It is, uh, yeah, a little shy of a, a little shy of a million EMC. So that is a little off the table for us at the moment. But another thing we could do, and I'm just, I'm just, you know, moving stuff around here just for fun. Um, another thing we could do is instead of having all of these, um, yeah, we'll go ahead. And we can actually, yeah, we'll leave that one there because why not? You know, it does, it does marginally Im improve the amount of EMC that's generated, so that's nice. Throw that in there. Um, let's go ahead and make the Mark II. So we need just, oh, yeah, yeah, it's just a dark matter. So fair enough. We'll just grab a dark matter out of there and the base collector. And then the total EMC is about equivalent to three of these things. So there we go. We'll go ahead and learn that one. And now we can pull out, yeah, we can only afford one. It's kind of a bummer. But, hey, it produces 12 EMC, which is pretty nice. 
And this thing, now I think there are some limits as far as the relays go. Yes, yeah, so you'll see max EMC transfer is 64 per second. Okay, so we compare that with what's being produced. This is 12 per second. So that means you can't have more than, well, yeah, I mean, I guess you can't have more than five, five of these things. It, basically, the gist is if you were to upgrade these dark matter collectors to the Mark 7 or crazy versions, because um, these, these can be upgraded still to a red matter collector, which will generate 40 per second. If you took those, if we tried to put two of those running through this basic relay, it's not going to be able to collect all of it. So it's, you know, some of it will end up being lost, which is going to, would be kind of a bummer. We don't want that. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and grab two bits of collectors here. Throw this on there so our production is as high as, uh, as we can get it for the moment. And you'll notice that basically, yeah, 23, 23 per second, that's not bad. I mean, this, we're going to get to crazy, <laughs> insane levels of EMC production, but, you know, to start us off, this is not terrible. So anyway, I think we will, um, I think I'll probably AFK for a little bit more so we can actually build up a proper power flower. I would love to get us to this, uh, bonsai pot. And the nice, the other thing about the bonsai pot is that, um, it's not a hopping bonsai pot. It's literally just, it's a single block and it will just stand there. And since, since the energy link is part of the, the internals of this, it automatically starts throwing stuff into your EMC inventory. So you just have to drop it down in the world and then it will just start running and you can basically leave it alone from there. As long as you keep it in a chunk loaded area, it'll produce EMC for you. So I've been doing a little thinking about how we want to set up the server and kind of what the, what other things we want to get into. And I think, I've been trying to think about sort of transportation, especially because the, the map is so nice. Um, I think we probably do want to push for some astral sorcery stuff because you can have the, um, let's see, the, well, okay, I can't remember the word. But you can create, there are these astral temple, um, re, re, transportation, there's a transportation system. Basically, you stand on the pedestal, you look at uh, the point far off in the distance, and you can warp to that point off in the distance. And I think it would be cool in addition to setting up a spawn point is if we were to go to assorted corners of the world and create a couple of, uh, you know, astral uh, relay stations. And I think that could be kind of cool as well. But of course, that would mean we would need to make a little bit of progress in the astral sorcery realm. And I think we've actually, I kind of don't want to dive into it because we're keeping these, these videos kind of short, kind of low key. And if we're diving into astral sorcery, we're going to need to do a fair bit of buildings. I may do a little bit of that between episodes, I'm not sure. Actually, let's see. What would it take us to get started? Well, we need the Astral Tome. Aquamarine books, um, which you can get from leather and paper. Um, yeah, you need paper either way, so we need to find sugarcane for that. Um, let's see. And then parchment. Now, parchment, oh, can be crafted with paper. Okay, actually, yeah. So let's see. Where would, uh, we just need to find one sugarcane. Sugarcane, thank you. I love, I, the, I, I just, I love Project E. You only have to find things once. Um, it is very difficult to, to balance a pack around it, but man, the packs that do a great job do a fantastic job. And it's, so, it's such a fun experience. Um, now, of course, this mod pack is not trying to be balanced at all. The whole point is to make, a, you know, to make a, a fun, playable playground of awesomeness. And uh, that's what it's trying to do. So the... Uh, the EMC generation stuff, you know, it's it's not trying to balance things. It's not trying to go, oh, well, yeah, you can create infinite stuff, but there are these special items that don't have EMC that you're going to have to try and work your, work your way around and blah. You know, it's just trying to be fun. So, okay, so sugar cane in there, sugar cane out. Whoops. Now let's go over to here. And paper. Paper goes in. Paper comes out. And we have a bunch of aquamarine from earlier. And let's make a parchment. Does this have? It does not have EMC. Okay, so that's one item that we have to be pay some attention to. Um, we need the book. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go be mean to cows, I guess. Um, let's make a. Let's make an actual weapon. We we haven't actually done that before. Um, we could use diamonds, but yeah. Let's just uh, let's make an iron sword and then a stick. Thank you. Also, one thing we should look at eventually is the uh, tablet. Because this, yeah, the transmutation tablet you can carry around with you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's way expensive. Never mind. I think this one, um, I think this one has, yeah, this one is craft has crafting stuff going on with it, and then this one does not. But, you know, you can get one with a built-in crafter, which would be awesome. So hopefully we get on the first try. Go. There we go. Thank you. All right, so leather goes in. Leather comes out. And book, please. Oops. Eh. There we go, book, and EMC, all the things, and book comes out, and we should now be able to craft ourselves an astral tome. There we go, and that does not have EMC either, which is perfectly fine, um, and we can open this up, and look at this. This will actually, 
uh, walk us through the whole research. Now, I think this one's actually updated uh, since... So there's an older version of Astral Sorcery that was in things like Sevtac, and this one is the updated version, I believe. Um, so things look a little bit different. Paper, different, uh, Yeah, Constellation Paper. We've already encountered a whole bunch of those. Um, and in fact, one of the cool things, if we take those out, um, we can actually store them in the book. So we can just shift, right-click, and store these away in the book. Uh, apparently not the blank ones, though. And I'm wondering what the blank ones... I think it's just, I mean, it's, we've discovered all the major constellations. I think we can't discover the minor ones, so I'm hoping that those will actually transform into representing the minor ones once we get to that point, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's going to tell us about all those things about, like, hey, there are ancient shrines. You can go ahead and find them. Maybe placing a crafting table close by would yield something interesting. Ooh. Um, huh. Oh, will this actually make the... Uh, I wonder if it would craft if it, if it would turn the thing into a luminous, luminous crafting table. Interesting. Um, Ender pearl marble and aquamarine will give us a resonating wand. Yeah, let's make one of those. Why not? Uh, I mean, I know I said we weren't going to dive into this, but I'm a liar. So uh, we've got marble, and we've got ender pearls. So let's do it. Resonating wand plus starlight. What? Oh no. I did. That's 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 different. You used to be able to. Well, I guess I don't know. I don't know to what extent things were tweaked by by modded. Um, yeah. Okay. So a lot of the, in for those who are who are new to astral sorcery, just about all these recipes. You, there's a there's a whole separate crafting table system for astral sorcery. But some of the basic recipes you can craft uh, in uh, a regular crafting table. And it, it used to be that you didn't need to wait for nighttime or have any sort of starlight. But I guess I guess they found a way to add that. And I'm wondering. Huh. I don't know how exactly that mechanic is going to work or exactly how much starlight we're going to need. I suppose we can wait for Nightfall to find out. Um, in the meantime, let's see. Let's put some of our other resources back. Yeah, and this is interesting. So even crafting a luminous crafting table also requires some starlight. So yeah, that must be some sort of mechanic that they've added. They do want sooty marble if we're going to craft that. And that's just, this is kind of the starter thing for creating Astro Sorcery stuff. You need, uh, as you advance in Astro Sorcery, you need very fancy altars which have these big multi-block structures that have to surround them to do all these crazy rituals and stuff. Um, and then you need the wand to actually initiate the uh, the craft for most of these things. So that's the reason that the wand is such an important thing to uh, to get us started. And I realize for, for most, if not all of you, this is review because um, you, you're familiar with Astro Sorcery. But just for those who are who are joining us, I want to make sure this is accessible and fun. I know I, I, I'm, I'm so used to always being the, the least educated <laughs> Minecraft player in the room that, uh, well, certainly in the comment section, that I go, oh, you guys already know this stuff. I feel like I don't, I don't need to explain. They're like, yeah, then, well... I'm start I'm starting to get I'm starting to pick up some of this. All right, well, after an overnight session and a little bit of babysitting, we now have basic power flowers, and not only that, we also have the tier 2 one. Um because yeah, if you look, the power flowers, oh man, they go up crazy. There's a whole bunch of stuff cuz this is all project the X. You get eventually to crazy levels of generations per tick. Um but yeah, we'll uh <laughs> we'll we'll get there. Right now, the dark matter, let's see, the, the level 2 one produces 300, roughly, EMC per tick, and that costs 5.75 million EMC, so we have a lot of EMC. These ones generate, I think, about 100, and then basically, we're now at the point where we're generating enough EMC, we're generating 500 a second, um, that, you know, fairly frequently, we're getting to the point where we can just go ahead and toss on another collector, basically, once we get three... Uh, basic collectors, we're able to upgrade to the dark matter collector, once we get about three dark matter collectors, we can upgrade to the, the tier 3... What's that? What is that third one? The red matter collector. And then once we have three red matter collectors, that's enough for us to upgrade to the basic flower, uh, fl basic flower power bonsai pot. And then three of these is enough to get us to actually. We might have enough. Might have enough to get us. Let's see. We need this one. It's five seventy five. We're we're probably pretty close to having enough. If we were to tear this down, be able to make another. Let's see. If we put all this away, can we make no. We do not have. Ah, we're so close. Um, well, you know, we can get rid of this. I don't like to get rid of this because then it means we can't just add on the, uh, the, uh, the other things piecemeal. But there we go. Two of those. Now we should be generating 420. Yeah, it's going up. It's going up. 612. Lovely. And now, yeah, the annoying part is we have to kind of hold out to get another, uh, energy, energy acceptor because we can't just, uh, even though I could buy one of these, uh, base collectors, there's nowhere for me to actually put it. 
right? It's not, there's nothing for us to actually import. The, uh, the gist is that since these are basically how you structure things, the, the energy cell is in the center of these. I don't remember. It's, it's been a night, so I don't remember what I've said in the, in the previous video. But anyway, um, I'm having fun with this, although, <laughs> I mean, it does get repetitive, so I'm, I'm sure we, we won't be doing uh, much more of this. It's, you know, we're just going to suddenly have crazy levels of EMC generation over time. Um, I think we're probably at the point now where these are the, these are way faster than anything we could generate in terms of, you know, trying to come up with some sort of farm or duplicate, you know, uh, processing loop or EMC loop or anything like that. I could be wrong, but who knows? Um, yeah, I think that'll do it for us today. When we come back next time, uh, we'll probably dive into a bunch of the astral sorcery stuff. Um, I did read a comment that mentioned, hey, um, probably don't use slime islands as your spawn point because uh, sp you know, slimes uh, spawn on there, and you don't want all those entities uh, in a chunk-loaded area, which does make a lot of sense. So probably slime islands we'll probably stray, stray away from, um, unless we craft some ourselves, which is also a possibility. Um Another, oh, another thing that was suggested, actually, which we should do. Let's grab some stone. Um, it was mentioned that, hey, there is actually, and this is another thing from Project EX, there is a stone transmutation tablet. So let's grab some, some stone out of here, and we'll just craft this. And I believe it's like this. I think it's, I think it's regular stone, not cobblestone. Nope, apparently it's cobblestone. All right, fair enough. Cobble. Do-do-do. And we can craft this. And this is the... The, okay, never mind. What am I thinking of? Uh, the stone table. Stone table. Um, yeah, stone transmutation table. This is... Oh, it's stone bricks. Okay, dokie. We can do that. Give me some stone. And we haven't learned stone bricks. That's fine. We can mix them and then learn them. And put the... Didn't I just craft these? What am I doing? All right. There we go. Put those in there. And brick. There we go. Take those out. And now let's do it for real. Do that, and that gets us a stone transmutation table, which, uh, yeah, would have been uh, a little bit easier. I forget. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit now, so I don't remember how difficult or easy this was to craft. Let's let's take a look at this real quick, um, just to round out this episode. If we plop this down now that we've learned it, um, oh, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, learn. Unlearn. Ooh, we can unlearn things? Can I unlearn this? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure. Oh, interesting. So, okay, I guess we can unlearn stuff. That is that is weird. All right. Well, this is a whole different uh, whole different thing, I guess. Um, go ahead and just, yeah, put that in there. Um, the other thing that we can do, though, is we can take this transmutation table and make sure to throw that in here, which is very nice. So just, yeah, learn. There we go. And now, of course, this is stuff that's shared, so we should be able to now pull out infinite transmutation tables as much as we might want. So not a huge not a huge deal with this, at least... Uh, Makes it a little, a little simple, because otherwise we'd have to go about crafting another transmutation table just to make sure that we've learned it, because uh, we can't throw the transmutation table into itself. But that is one way around that, and uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's see how, actually, let me see the tablets. How far off are we from, oh, you know what? We're not too far off from a tablet. Huh. Yeah, well, I mean, we're far off now. If we were to sacrifice our EMC production, we could do it. But uh, yeah, we'll probably, we might do that in the next episode, because then that lets us be a little more portable, which is going to be important, because if we need to find Starlight, we probably need to get to the top of a mountain get a little bit higher up, get some altitude, and get into some astro sorcery stuff. But that is going to do it for me. I hope that you are enjoying the series. I'm certainly having a lot of fun. That's why I'm doing this at the exclusion of other stuff. And I will see you next time. Cheers.